Starting off the makeup, I'm gonna mix my Maybelline Fit Me foundation with this plump face oil. I add a drop of face oil to make the texture and the finish a little more dewy because as you know Fit Me is a very very matte foundation and just perfect for summers but during the winter time I need a little bit more hydration. I have put on a lot of moisturizer, I still need a little more hydration and it gives an amazing glow to the skin. I'm just gonna dab it all over my face and look funny. You can definitely use your fingers to blend it out, it does the work but I'm going to use this Kiko Milano brush, it's the stippling brush and it gives me amazing amazing finish and it is amazing if you want the fullest coverage ever. Uh, if you use your fingers you're going to get an even higher coverage but I think this works perfectly for me because uh, yeah and it gives me the perfect coverage that I need. As you can see my skin is so glowy, I love it, I'm in the shade 220 if you guys are wondering. Now I'm going to use Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I seem to love Maybelline, which is true. I'm going to use uh, the shade Sand under my eyes and uh, a little bit of it on my spots. And then I'm going to mix a little bit of medium to it because I think both of them mixed together are my perfect color. Well, almost perfect. So I'm going to again use my stippling brush and blend it all in. I'm using this Radiant Finish Powder from Kiko Milano. It gives me great finish and does the job perfectly. Ignore the little dance session that I'm doing in the middle. If you could only hear the music that was in the background. I'm going to be using this Maybelline palette that I have had for the longest time and I'm going to be using the darkest black shade to fill in my brows. It is not super super pigmented that is why I can use it but you should not use a very very pigmented black shade to fill in your brows because they look very unnatural. And I'm going to slightly fill in my brows. They still end up looking very different from each other. I don't know why so please ignore that. Now I'm going to be using this Kiko Milano uh, brow finish uh, pencil and I'm going to be just finishing my brow a little bit and it has a spoolie at the end so I can tame my unruly hair. After the brows are done I like to give them a little more shape using a light concealer so I'm going to be using this Kiko Milano full coverage concealer. It is very light for me so it is perfect for highlighting. I use it under my brow with a really really small brush. It's an it's a brush from an eyeshadow palette and a little bit under it and over it and it just gives a little more definition to the look. Now I'm going to be using my color bar brush and my wet and wild eyeshadow palette in the color something rose I don't remember but I'm going to mention everything down below and I'm going to be taking a warm brown shade and putting it all over my lid because I think a cool brown shade does not suit me it makes me look dead and a warm brown shade just gives my eyes a little more definition and it looks nicer. And I'm going to be using this blending brush from Kiko Milano and I'm going to be putting it right into my crease. It's the same eyeshadow that I'm using but a little more pigment. And then I'm going to take in this my favorite favorite peachy shade from the palette and a little darker one of the same uh, family and blending it into my crease and giving it a beautiful peachy monochrome look. I have learned it the hard way that eyeshadow does not end up looking great if you just use one color everywhere you have to blend and blend and blend and I love doing that and I'm gonna just use a darker shade and put it under my eye a little bit for a little bit more definition I'm gonna be putting my eyeliner it is the Lakme 95 eyeliner and I think there is no eyeliner I love more than this it is liquid and it gives a super matte finish I'm the biggest fan of everything matte so yeah a little wing and yeah now I'm going to use a bronzing powder, it's from Kiko Milano, it is a great great colour for me, it suits me really well, I'm going to use it under my cheekbones, uh, on my jaw and to reduce the size of my forehead which is huge. Then my favourite 
blush from Nykaa in the shade Raisin. It gives a very very nice look and it is the perfect color for the peachy look that I'm going for today. And I'm going to use the same blush brush to put on a little bit of highlighter. Well, I say a little but you can tell. Now I'm going to take a brush and blend it all a little bit and after that I'm going to curl my lashes. I think curling your lashes makes a huge difference and I think guys I found a new mascara. Yes, Lash Sensational is out. It's not out actually but I'm loving this one a little bit more. It's the Kiko Milano Unforgettable Mascara. It looks like this video is sponsored by Kiko but it's not. I just seem to have a lot of their products because I worked with them a while ago. But this is lovely, it gives me such fluttery lashes and it keeps them in the same form. That is what I love the most but it is very watery. So if you tend to uh, have watery eyes then I would not suggest it. Then I'm going to be using my favorite favorite combo. It is the Maybelline Superstay Matting in the shade Amazonian which I'm going to put and then Aresia Matte Lip Color in shade 414 if I'm not wrong. To make it a little more lighter and a more and little more nuder, and yeah, I'm gonna let it dry, fix my hair, and give you some looks. 